Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Tahira Echoes of the Astral Empire. So, I actually don't know too much about this game. It's a tactical RPG, from a, what I know. And, um... Apart from that... Oh, it might... It's... Yeah, it's a little loud. Let's turn that down a bit. See if I can turn that down a little bit more of an or organic manner. Yeah, so, uh... It's a tactical RPG. It reminds me heavily of Banner Saga, just from, like, a visual standpoint. But I actually have no idea if it's, um... I actually have no idea if it's uh, the same or not. We'll figure it out. Anyway, new game. Oh, hey. Let's go back for a second. Let's check options. Audio, mute, SFX, graphics, lock, lock cursor to windows. Yeah, let's do that. That's always helpful. Yeah, that'll that'll be nice. Ed scroll sensitivity, good. Fade out dead units. Yeah, let's do that. Fast dialog, play that. I'll probably just say on Voyager. And controls don't care. This should be fine. New game. Uh, so we already know about that. So what else do we have? Wayfarer. Combat can be skipped. Moderate challenge, challenging, or very challenging. Yeah, let's just go Voyager for the time being. I'm a lazy man. And... It's already frozen. Oh, there we go. Ha! Ah. How's the grass, Eba? Edible? Disgruntled snort. I know. Every day pass that passes. The land here looks more like the dev devastation in the north. We've seen 300 abandoned villages this week. Morose grunt. And all you care about is food. We'll get back to our camp tomorrow. There might be a few oats there. Cautious, optimistic Winnie. Really depends on whether you eat, ate them all, you pig. Deeply offended snort. Tease Elba, apologize to Elba. Apologize. Didn't mean it, buddy. Snicker. You're messing with me, aren't you? Amused Winnie. Well, now I don't feel so bad about telling you that the food of the camp will probably be our last good meal for a while. We have to head further south. Once we find the cause of the devastation, I promise, we'll travel back north and visit Jasim and Saya's farm. Then you can eat all of us to your heart's content. Loving Winnie. I'm glad you're here with me, Eva. We always have such interesting discussions. Ah, uh, I need to get some sleep. Stay close to the fire tonight. Okay, what do I do now? Poke the owl! Nope, the owl's gone. Okay. Um, what? We got an alien already. Hey! You know, I'd actually really love to play something like that. Startled Winnie. It's all right, Eba. Shh. It's all right. Stay here. I'll go see what that was. Okay. So space and interactor E. Move with WASD. Shift to toggle runner walk. Okay. Interesting. Didn't expect something like this. Oh, it's toggle. Well, we've got an old well. Doesn't look like there's much I can do about it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna crank my mic up just a little bit so it's a little bit higher. Let's wander around. I thought this was going to be a tile-based game. I didn't realize that people walk around. And what? Who walks there? Tell him your name. My name is Tahira. Who are you? Have you been away for so long that you've forgotten what your own father looks like? I should have known finding you would lead me to a place like this, as far away as you could be from the responsibilities of your position. Hello, Father. I am well. Thank you for asking. Why have you come here? To tell my recalcitrant daughter it is time to come home. Many things have happened since your juvenile tirade and departure. I have allowed all the time I could for, your, er, for you to return of your own volition. You have neglected your duties for too long. I'm not neglecting my duties. I'm helping people here, Father. People that you have ignored, as you sit locked away in the city of Avestrin. Have you walked outside and seen what is happening in your kingdom? People are abandoning their villages because they don't have enough to eat. Bandits are roaming the countryside. Our people are dying, yet you criticize me? I'm the only person doing something about it. You only think you are. What you fail to see, what you have always failed to see, is that Avestan is a small kingdom in a perilous position. 
Its continued existence is contingent on the friendship of the larger nations around us. And now, not even that is enough to protect us. You would dismiss the suffering of so many people? That's the You so cold-hearted, you would dismiss the pain and suffering of our people. There is an army marching on Aviston, Tahira. They landed on our shores two weeks ago and raised Mazdak to the ground. What? Who would... Did you hear that? Yes, I... We are out of time. I can feel their movements in the light. You dare to fly the consuls. That was a foolish decision, old man. With your power, we could have forged a better future. A better future? For whom exactly? I've seen the cities burning on the western coastline. People slaughtered by the thousands. Your honeyed words do not disguise the rivers of blood that run beneath your feet, soldier. Your corrupted idea of the Astral Empire is a twisting imitation of what our forebears built. A bastardization of everything it stood for. It is clear that your love for the savages who squat on this land has blinded you to reason. No matter, you will come with us, one way or another. If you think that, you are truly a fool. Tahira, their army is only a few days from the capital. You must return home and find a way to lead our people out of its path. Nothing will stand between them and what they seek. They will kill every last one of us if they have to, and they will do so gladly. I left the staff with Lord Barudi. He will be waiting for you at the southern waypoint. Meet him there. I will, Father. I promise. Beware the word of, words of angels if you meet them on the road. Goodbye, Tahira. I love you. Well. Ooh, that is not a good noise. Father. And return to Eva. Okay, let's use the arrow keys while I drink water, because that was hard on my voice. Questioning Winnie. It was Father. The land is going to have to wait, Eva. We need to go back to the capital. Something bad is happening there. Foreboding Winnie. Try to get some sleep. We have a long road ahead of us. <laughs> she has big white mittens. Oh, wait. It's the same as the mouse. P pinchy, 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 pinchy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I wonder how long this game is. Hopefully not too long. But maybe. Worst comes to worst, if it gets stupid long, then we can just turn it on in super easy mode and just blitz through the rest of the game. Though, if I remember right, they actually said that no combat in this game was meaningless. Which is good. I like that. Well, that does... ...worry me a bit. Nice map. Wish they'd flesh it out a little bit more. But maybe that's just me. I don't know, I just, uh, I'm, I'm going to be comparing this probably unfavorably to Banner Saga, which is really unfair of me, and I shouldn't do that. Um, but every once in a while I'm going to be like, Banner Saga did this, and then I need to put the brakes on. Oh, it should be 70 hours long. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see, my wise father, the Asim Watchtower. There it is, Eba. I thought I saw smoke when we crested the last ridge. What devastation must the invaders have wrought to cause that? I can only hope anyone whose home was in their path found a way to escape, concerned Winnie. We need to get to southern the southern waypoint as quickly as we can, but we can't ride blindly into a war zone. If there are still soldiers stationed at the tower, at this tower, we'd know what was going on. Aviston used to keep watch over the land from Mazdik's borders to the northern tip of the wilds. Now, thanks to my wise father, most of our people huddle in a city that's been swallowed by the desert. Look at where that's got us. Beware the word of, words of angels if you meet them on the road. I wonder what he meant by that. I've never heard of anyone meeting an angel. But then, how would you know if you did meet one? Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Let's stop Jasim and, Sa uh, Jasim and Sasha for supplies and see if they know what's happening. Excited, Winnie. Yes, no doubt they will have some olives for you. At least I hope they will.
So it seems like this is going to be very similar to Banner Saga in terms of like narration and decision and stuff. Though I don't think we'll have to worry about supplies and stuff. Just combat and making good decisions. Could be wrong. Hopefully there's like an RPG system or something like that so we can have like beast characters that just roll through enemies. But I also have no idea. We're here. I can't wait to see them. Uh-oh. Who is that? Stay here, Eba. I'll check it out. I want to use the horse as a character in combat. Yeah, this is not a good sign. Oh. This is very much not a good sign. Oh, this booze tastes like piss. What do you expect from a bunch of <gasps> dirt farmers? Boys, raise a glass to the dead. Let them be, re, be a reminder of how far the human race has fallen. Here. Here. I... Hey! Another one. I thought you fools were, were the only two of them. There were. I haven't seen this one before. She's not too old. Give her to me, Captain. I'll look after her. You wanna fuck one of the primitives? Disgusting. Both of you, shut up. She could be the one we're looking for. What's your name, girl? Why would I tell you anything? Who am I? You slaughtered my friends. I'm not telling you anything. What possible reason could you have for doing this? What purpose do cattle have except to be slaughtered? You should be thankful. We liberated, liberated them from the drudgery of their existence. Just as we will do to you if you don't tell us your name, girl. Fight him. I have nothing to say to you, murderer. What a pity. Well, General Ferriman did say we didn't need to bring the girl back alive. Kill her, boys. You can try. Alright, it's fighty time. Okay, you are now in combat, the moving white circle. Uh, around Tahira means that she is the active unit. Blue squares are the squares that she can move to. Okay, so we have guard, 8 out of 8, HP, 18 out of 8, uh, 18 out of 18, HP, 8, 18, 8 of 8, bleh. Will attack nine rank princess. Kill the foot soldiers. Okay. Click on the mark square, square to move to Tahira. Move there. Okay. This is the action menu. It shows what actions we have. Okay. Click the attack panel for Tahira. What else do we have? Don't know. Well, I guess we're just going to biff this dude with a stick. Uh, okay. Now that Tahira has used her action for the turn by attacking, she has been dimmed as her... U as has her unit stat shield. She is still free to move, but can ta make no further attacks. However, there's no benefit to moving to here anywhere right now, so click the weight panel to make her inactive. Okay, so we have guard as shields, effectively. Well, I'm just gonna repeatedly just bap everybody with my stick. I'll take it. Is that all you've got? Drunken idiots, I'll put you down myself. I mean, we're we're doing fine. Special actions menu. Guard boost. Oh. Cost one willpower, one action, restores eight guard. Neat. Sadly, I was hoping she'd be like a wizard or something. I was really hoping she'd be wizard lady. It, does he just not feel like attacking? Because, I mean... I mean, we're messing him up with a stick. Yeah, he's not doing so hot. Die! I like the sound effect they have. It's just somebody hitting a pan. Which is hilarious. Highly trained soldier's greatest weakness. Stick to the helmet! Rest for a minute. Breathe, Tahira. Just breathe. I can't believe this has happened. Forgive me, Jasim. Saha. You took me in when I thought I had no place left to go. Had I never met you, these men would not have come here. Now there's no time to wash your bodies or set you to rest. Every moment I delay puts more people at risk. Forgive me, Jasim Um Avistan Saha Um Avistan. You were as parents to me. I will not forget that. Wherever the light takes you, please be at peace. 
Okay, so we've got a dead oxtail. We've got duh, glitchy nonsense. That is just Jasim. That is Saha. That is the garden. It's weird. It feels like I'm supposed to be able to interact with these things, but I can't. Okay. Find some supplies. Oh, space bar. These amphoras are filled with olives. Ebo will be happy. I guess now I can leave when I want to. Saha's garden. She didn't talk about it much, but I think this is where she and Jasim buried their daughter. Oh, flashback. Neat. If you head far enough southwest, you'll find the edge of the wilds. It used to mark the southern border of Avistan until it started to spread further north. Then that's where I need to go. I've seen too many forsaken towns, Sa Saja. Saja? Saja. Things cannot stay as they are. I understand, but please be careful, Tahira. The wilds is not idly named. Strange creatures roam its in its shadows. Don't worry about me. I can handle myself. You remember the story about the bandits in Tarifa? I do, and that's precisely why I worry. One day your brashness may lead you into trouble. I'd rather that than sitting around and ignoring the world's trouble, S Saja. I am sorry. Don't mind me, Tahira. I'm an old woman. It's my prerogative to worry. When will you be leaving? Not for uh, another couple weeks. Jasim and I have nearly finished digging the new well. That's good. It gives me time to put a little party together. It wouldn't do to let you off without a proper send-off. Okay, dead oxtail. Poor Hanifa. Hope you've gone to a better place. Oh. And we're on loop. Let's look at Jasim. Tahira, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Saja and I are concerned about your father. You've been away from home for nearly two years. Surely he will be worried about you. I doubt that. Just seem the only thing that he worry about is uh, worries about is his kingdom. I'm sure that's not all true. I know that you've had a difficult relationship with him, but not all parents but all parents worry about their children. You don't know him. The only thing he has ever had any interest in talking about with me was the future of Avistan. And even then, it was just to lecture me or criticize the ideas I had to help the kingdom. Your father is responsible for the lives of many people. He may not always be free to be the person he wants to be. I know that, but he's stubborn. Avistan has so many problems he's not dealing with. Out here, I can do some good. It's better for both of us. If he wants to see me badly enough, he can come and find me. Uh, it doesn't look like it can go inside, can't go there, doesn't look like there's anything else. Off we go! Have you got everything, Tahira? I think so. Saja, Jasim, I don't know how to thank you for all your kindness. You can come back and visit us. We know that you have a long journey ahead of you, but when you need a rest, we will be waiting for you. Oh, that reminds me. I wrapped up some food for you. Between us, there's a little surprise for Iba. Excited, Winnie. Thank you, Sasha. I'll be sure to hold on to it until he really deserves it. Disgusted snort. I'm gonna miss you both so much. And there will always be a place for you here, Tahira. Always. And off we go. Don't really like this game's graphics. I mean, it's all hand-drawn. But not quite as well as Banner Saga, which I think is kind of part of the problem. Questioning Winnie. Tell Eva what happened. Jasim and Sasha are dead, Eva. Distressed Winnie. I killed the men who did it. Whatever good that does. Say goodbye. I don't think we'll be back here again. I do have to admit, though, it actually looks really good. Um, It looks really good for what it is. You know, it obviously doesn't have the budget of Banner Saga and whatnot. Um, but like, it's not bad. I think this is like a four-man project, which is part of the reason why I'm being forgiving of it. They obviously put a fair amount of work into it. I want to say the the vocabulary they're using is maybe a little bit strong. Um, strong? Uh, you know, words like prerogative and stuff. Uh... The guard captain used while well, drunk. It seemed really weird. I feel like if you're writing for a drunk person, you should be drunk at the time. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway. Alright, Eva. Time to be a princess again. 
Why do we never ride on horse? Aviston war horses. These horses are the same breed as Eba. It is said that they are the descendants of Al Barak, the lightning steed. They were bred on the plains of Hadar in Asmara until Babylon claimed it. What if this has historical roots? Probably not. Well, they've got their hands full. I should leave them be. Vulture. I can't believe we're eating a vulture. Be thankful for a hot meal, lad. During the Ornian War, we were mar we marched for two weeks without food stores. There was nothing to eat except for the rats and our horses as they died from under us. Do you think they will come to at this time? It might, but keep your chin up. I've been in Lord Baruti's division for more than 20 years. He's led us through some dire situations, mark my words. He'll lead us through this one as well. I, why are we still waiting here, Mossad? There are still people out there who need us. Yet here we sit, waiting for a coward to show her face. You're talking rubbish again, Eunice. She left the city, yes, but I've heard stories of her helping people around the kingdom. Didn't you hear about that business in Tarifa? Fourteen bandits, just with just her and two old men facing off against them. But she killed them all. You have to give her some credit for such a feat. Pah, you believe that. You can't trust stories from the provinces. My friend Anwar, the light rest his soul, was a royal guard. He told me the princess and the king had a big fight. Next day she was gone. Huh, you believe that palace gossip? You're as bad as the servants. I trusted Anwar, Musad. Look, all I'm saying is, if she does show her face, she's got a lot to prove to me. Ha, huh, listen to yourself. The princess has got a lot to prove to you. I'm sure she's really concerned with what you think. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, this man is... Hey, here we go. Your Majesty. Dot, dot, dot. Yes? Lord Baruti is waiting for you on the waypoint. You better hurry. I'm making up voices here. They're bound to change. Wait, Your Majesty. What is it? Brace yourself. Combat time! Probably? Is... Is he going to attack me, or is it something else? Baruti! No. I envisioned many things as I rode here, but in my darkest imaginings, I never imagined this. So much destruction, so much hate. I can't breathe, Baruti. I feel as if there's a rope around my chest. Do not be afraid, Tahira. It is a natural reaction. Twenty years ago, I watched most of Iran a city of 100 times the size of Aviston Burn. I still remember the screams of the people caught in the flames, thousands of voices crying out in agony. After they passed, only the crackling of the flames was left to remind us of what we had witnessed. I remember that, yet, the sight of our city burning still makes m the breath catch in my throat. This is the last of Aviston. Breathe, Tahira. For while you walk among us, our people will still have hope. You carry their history in your blood, and you will carry them upon your shoulders. It is a heavy burden to bear, but it is the one you were born for. You always did have an interesting approach to making me feel better, Baruti. Let's see. I will do everything I can to protect my people. Why are their fa faces all droopy? I mean, a lot of these people are, um... A lot of these people are, uh, old. Um, you know, veteran types. As far as I can tell, at least. Okay, I've seen what these invaders truly are. I'll do everything in my power to stop them from hurting our, our people. I expected nothing less. Broody, what are you? Princess Tahira Unavastan, first of her name, I pledge my life to you. As I served your father, I will serve you. In my hands, I hold your birthright, handed down from each ruler of Avistan to the next. It was the key to your father's power, the light that guides Avistan in dark times. Claim it, Tahira, and lead our people to a new home, away from this desolation. 
So we get a we get a big old metal stick now. Oh wait, this one's magic, probably. Baruti, as I laid my hand upon the staff, white light filled the sky, the ground, it was even inside of you. I felt as if I was opening my eyes for the first time. It is a relic of the Astral Empire, Tahira, as you well know. It can be as a powerful weapon, though your father believed it had many other uses. You must learn to wield it in battle if we are to survive. I've seen glimpses of the power father was able to summon with it. I will do everything I can to learn how to use it. Now, you must fill me in, Broody. Where are our people? Do not tell me they are trapped in the city. No, Princess. We evacuated them to Barade. It's a long, arduous journey. Many will have not arrived yet. A small force of volunteers stayed behind in the city to buy time for the retreat. They will not be able to hold the walls for much longer. When the city falls, only the men we have here will stand between the enemy and our people. What of Babylon and Asmara? Surely they will send help. We have had no word from either since the country's couriers were dispatched five weeks ago. Then we cannot count it on them. How much of the army remains? I sent some 500 men up to Barade to assist the refugees. The rest are with me, or scattered along the road. So few. I hesitate to ask this, Baruti, but have you had any word of my father? Not since his disappearance five days ago. In the note he left me, he sounded unsure of whether he would return. I had hoped you would be the one who could shed some light on his whereabouts. Five days. That would be right. He appeared before me in the wilds as a white figure, but he was followed by invaders. They attacked him. He blasted them with light, but when it subsided, he'd vanished. I cannot say with certainty that he is gone, but there was a moment just before he disappeared when he said goodbye. The way he said it, it felt like he knew it was the end. I'm sorry, Baruti. Forgive me, with so much already lost, I did not think myself capable of more grief. But the loss of your father is a bitter blow. Lord Baruti, we are under attack by barbarians. Steady men, stand with us. We'll send these dogs back to rot in the western mountains. Okay, so we're just being attacked by these guys, really? Oh shit, these guys actually have a fair more... Fair amount more HP and whatnot. Do I do more damage now? No. What? So I have a new stick? Okay. Oh, here we go. Tahira now wields the light of Avistan. Using Spire, she can unleash a devilly unleash a devastating beam of energy. Try it out, move here. So we now have a special attack, which is Okay. The special menu lists all the special attacks, actions, and interactions a unit can make. Most units have access to at least one special attack. Okay, unbound blast. Target them. It's gonna be okay. Now click on the damage tiles and appear in front of the barbarians. Gotcha. So she just has straight up lasers. Each time you use a special attack, it costs willpower. If a unit doesn't have any willpower left, they won't be able to use their special attacks. Units can gain extra willpower by killing enemies. Each unit killed grants the attacker one willpower up to a maximum of five. Very banner socky. You can see the current willpower there. Now click on the advanced turn. Okay. Let's see. Broody leads the Aviston Knights. These units have their own unique set of skills and abilities. Stat panel appears whenever you click on a unit. It can be used to see the unit's stats. You can also hover over a unit's ability icons to get more information on what they do. It's now the Aviston Knights turn to act. Broody, the, being the Knights leader, takes his turn with them. Click on the... Okay, we want to move here. Okay, Broody could attack, but... On his own, he doesn't do that much damage. Instead, let's get the knights to work together. Select the knight indicated, and click on the square on the other side. Notice the damage tile has appeared. That means the barbarian will get a free attack if he moves there. Okay, area of denial attack. It will secure, occur whenever a unit moves the square and chases an enemy. Sometimes it's worth moving through the area of denial and taking damage in order to get the technical advantage. Confirm move tile with the knight. Okay. Okay, select the final knight. Move him. Surround Barbarian. Gotcha. Okay, whenever a unit attacks, it does bonus damage for each ally adjacent to its target. Most units deal one extra damage per ally in a unit, but it have standing knights with their superior training gain twice the normal bonus. It's time to take advantage of your flanking maneuver. Select Broody. Click on the damage tile. Here's on top of the Barbarian to make the attack. 
Okay, you've broken the bar Barian's guard. Guard represents the unit's ability to defend itself. Attacks only deal damage to the unit's health once that guard is depleted. Characters who have had their guard broken deal slightly reduced damage, and there's a chance that incoming attacks will be critical hits. Double damage. You can see the unit's guard is broken. Unit stat, shield. Okay. Blue shield. Gotcha. Now that Brutus attacked, have the other knight hit him. And then the third one. These barbarians are tough suckers. I'll give them that. Okay. Oh. So we're going to be doing sword ha uh, half sword drive. Push the enemy, it hits backwards. If there's an en empty space, they'll be pushing that space. If there's a second enemy, both will be damaged. Gotcha. So it's just going to be some amount of spillover damage. Makes sense. Let's see. It stuns enemies. You can tell if the unit is stunned by looking at the swirl above their heads. Stun units are unable to make counterattacks or if denial attacks and remain stunned until the beginning of the next turn cycle. Okay, advanced turn. So he does that. He moves. He does not do a whole lot of damage. Well, easy enough. I guess, you know what, let's just move here and just laser him. We'll just surround him in knights. Seems reasonable enough. Let's see, we'll wait. There's auto advance, which makes sense. Move here. Select this guy, move here. And we'll just beat him up. That screen shake, bit annoying. But that's okay. That is the last one. There's more in the camp below, sir. Then let's get down there. And there's more of them. Stay back. Or do what you do what, little man, you are weak. Tamab, more of the betrayers. No matter, we will kill these ones too. Let's see. Uh fight the barbarians. This will end poorly for you. Your people are afraid of death. We are not. The land does not forget. The land does not forget. Time for you to d die, betrayers. Okay. It's to hero's turn. She can't move anywhere because of the knights around her. It doesn't mean the turn is forfeit, though. Any unit that hasn't attacked or used an ability can be reactivated later on the turn queue to continue making their move. For now, advance turn. Okay. Move the knights out of the way. Broody here. Move him there. Them here. These guys are rough. Okay, now that the knights are no longer blocking her path, select her again. Despite not taking her turn, Tahir is now free to act as if it were due to not having attacked. This allows you to plan ahead and coordinate movement between faster and slower units. Okay. So, move here, unbound blast. Damaging several units and getting the flanking bonus. Oh, that's useful. Okay, and then we can just attack with these guys. This knight, on the other hand, has already taken damage, has no guard left, meaning his attacks will be weaker and he's vulnerable to critical hits. He has the ability to guard boost. All units have the access to the ability, so we're just going to do guard boost, which boosts him up. Custom will po power in an action, but whatever. Okay, guard's better, so you can contribute to the fight. Okay, he can still provide the flanking bonus. Okay. In position is an important part of combat. Gotcha. Let's move in here. Let's move everybody in. We're just going to surround the crap out of this guy and beat him. So let's do half sword dive on this guy. Which stun them both. We're going to come here. Have this guy do the exact same thing. Well, that was actually incredibly effective. Might not have needed to do half sword dive, but it was fun. The land does not forget, but you betrayed it. I will not rem it will not remember you. Or I, I will not be re ah, whatever. That doesn't matter. Okay. And I think that's all I can do for the time being. Oh, this will be okay. So yeah. This game honestly just remembers. Uh, th this game honestly just to me resembles uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll just do an unbound blast. Oh, on these guys. Good stuff. So it doesn't hit my allies. That's handy. I probably could have surrounded more of them, but whatever. You. Oh, right, we have to go on to the next one. Okay. Oh, it's this guy. No, we want to go this guy. And bring him here. We want to have this guy go here. And I think that's good. Okay. So we'll hit him. And we'll have him hit him. Yeah, this really does feel like somebody saw Banner Saga said, yeah, I could probably do something like this. And did something exactly like Banner Saga. I'm actually pretty damn okay with that. So let's half sword drive this guy over. Oh, really? It does it that way. Weird. Okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Okay, let's do special actions. Half sword drive because combo attacks are fun. Oh, damn. We messed him up. Didn't realize it was going to do that much, but I guess we'll take it. And this guy's stunned. There we go. Uh, but yeah, it reminds me very solidly of... Oh, wait, this guy's not done yet. I guess we'll just move forward. And we can't do anything else. There we go. Advance. He does a little bit of damage, but whatever. Um, but I don't know. I, I do like the idea of... Of this game. It really is just super, super banner saga-y. That's the last of them. See to the wounded and find the horses. We need to be on the road as soon as possible. Let's see. I was worried about you, Eba. Loving Winnie. Let's see. I'm glad you're with me. Uh, let's see. Whatever happens in the next few days, I'll always be with you. Okay, it gladdens my heart to see that you your bond with Eba has not changed. Your presence will renew the spirit of our people, Tihira. If you say so, Baruti. We can't let more of them fall into the hands of the hateful Astral Empire. I had wondered if we should call them by that name. Your father was certain they had no relation to the ancient Astral Empire, which d was destroyed a thousand years ago. You're, you fear we might have... Le we might legitimize their claim, but to refuse to use a name gives it undue power. We will call them by their name, Baruti. We will proclaim it far and wide as, as we stand against them. As, all will know that no man, no woman, man, or child of Avistan fears their false empire. So shall it be. You've changed, Tahira. You were always willful, but now I sense a low steelness in you that was not there before. I made mistakes, Broody, and people lost their lives because of them. Whatever happens in the days ahead, our people will not suffer because I shirked my responsibilities as their leader. Well said. You showed great courage to trust you in yourself at the top of the waypoint. To take the staff and use it like you did, with no training, you should be proud. Using the staff was strange. It felt like I was at the edge of a huge lake. It was gently, it was gently tugging at me, compelling me to jump in. When I tried to, it took all the strength I had just to brush it with my fingers. Your father described using it to me once. He likened the experience to bringing a bridge between two worlds. At one end you have our world. At the other end you have the light. With help of the staff, your mind creates a bridge between the two. Once the bridge is established, you can move energy between them. You must be careful, though, Tihira. Channeling large amounts of energy can put a great strain on your mind. I'll be careful, Baruti. Good. Then it's time we are on the road. Every minute we delay brings the enemy closer, and those still uh, to those still living in the city. Men, we ride with all haste to the very edge of the enemy army to protect those who need us most. We are the last shield of Avistan, the only thing standing between it and utter destruction. But we are not alone. Princess Tahira, daughter of the Tariq, and ruler of Avistan, fights by our side. Together, we hold back this so-called Astral Empire. Onwards. Okay. So, I think that's it for this chapter. Please be the end of this chapter. It feels like it's the end of the chapter, but I also have no idea. I like this game. It reminds me heavily of Banner Saga. Unfortunately, it's a little bit rough on my voice, and it's kind of slow. It's a lot of dialogue. Um, a lot of slow dialogue, and actually pretty damn good world building, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I'm curious about more, like playing it more. The visual style is a little weird, it's all hand drawn, and the drawings ain't bad, but the actual, like, uh, the digital execution is a little eh. Um, 
I don't know what to say about that exactly, apart from just like, I, I guess this is what happens when you try and do this sort of thing. It, it'd be hard to match the character style otherwise, because I think everything is rotoscoped. And that's why everything looks the way it does, because they have to match the characters to the character models. Which I guess works. I don't know. It's a neat game. Did they say how much it costs? Because at this point I'm just kind of doing my, my like, endings uh, for the video. So I've played 40 minutes. Yeah, that's a good stopping point. Maybe the maybe the developers said in the email. I think it's like 15 bucks. I assume it's like 15 bucks. Uh, if, but I mean, ultimately, if you like Banner Saga, you're probably gonna like this game. I don't think I'm gonna play more of it unless everybody's like really asking me to play more. Um, it's it's definitely something I would enjoy. It's just also definitely not not the kind of thing I have time to go through, because I can only assume this is going to be a fairly lengthy uh, experience. But, I mean, combat's good. Uh, character's good. I wish there was a leveling system, and I can't tell if there is one or not. It's not necessary, but it's just a nice way of unlocking extra fun things your characters can do. I also wish there were less generic units, and more, like, very specific fun ones to use. Uh, thinking, like, Fire Emblem, specifically. But, whatever. Uh, one way or another, though. Like I was saying, this is a great stopping point. So, if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. I don't think I'm going to play any more of this one, but I always have new games to play. So, guess with that, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.